All right, uh, and for the keywords for serving, the first one is present. Uh, we're just presenting the ball, um, our serving hands on top of the ball. Um, it's important for our step foot and the ball to be facing. So if you were my target, all right, my foot and the ball, right, are facing you. There's a line from my shoulder to the ball to the target, right, that stays there the entire time, all right, and that's present, okay? Um, body weight is more on my right foot since I'm right-handed, right, so my hitting foot. Um, so that's present. Second one is pull, right? I'm pulling and opening up, right, to create torque here, to create more power, all right? So present is one, two is pull. The next one is place. I'm placing the ball in the air, all right? With our standing float serve, all right, we're working on no spin on the ball, all right? So my hand's gonna be parallel to the ground, and it stays parallel to the ground when I place the ball in the air to create no spin, all right? You can think about a few things as far as the coaching point is. If I had a tray of water, glasses of water, and I was handing it to somebody up on the ladder, I would not want to spill the waters, all right? So my hand stays parallel to the ground the entire time, okay? So that's present, pull, and place. Also, when I want to place the ball, if I let it drop, after I take my next keyword, right, it's landing next to my step foot and in front of my right shoulder, since I'm right-handed, all right? So that's present, pull, place. Once the ball's in the air, I take a step, right? This is a normal step, right? The step is also creating my momentum. My body is going through the ball, not just my hand, but my body, right? To give myself more force, all right? So that's the step. Um, present, pull, place, step, and then pop, all right? We use the word pop because we like the ball exploding off our hands, so pop is a good short word to remember, all right? Um, we're hitting the ball, contacting the ball with our horseshoe, right? And then higher level, it's really the whole palm, all right? But with the younger players, like this bottom part here, obviously the horseshoe is the hardest part of your hand, of the heel part of your hand, and it doesn't move at all, all right? It's not gonna flex when we hit, all right? Another thing to remember about the pop and hand contact, our hand is firm, all right? When we're in pull, all right, our hand is neutral, okay? It's not super firm, it's not dead fish, it's just neutral here, right? Um, and then once we go through, right on contact on the pop, it's gonna be firm. 